Hey everybody, this is Evan Abrams, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how I made this really stupid looking cat animation. I'm going to be talking about making animation. Well, if I tell you the secrets of making animation, then anyone can do it. Basically, what you're looking at is what appears to be a Pop-Tart wedged between many pieces of cat, and there's a rainbow pooping out the back of it as it flies through what's maybe space. The space is just uh, particles zooming along. Um, I put some particles in the eyes of the cat, so it's like it's staring at something moving past. That's not very special. The rainbow is pretty blah. The real big thing that you'll notice here is, you know, there's a bunch of layers, and... I don't, I don't really have a lot of keyframes, but it just keeps on animating, constantly, like it's caught in some kind of, some kind of cycle, like it's loop, it's in a loop, like it's cycling in a loop. How do we, how could we do that? Save ourselves a lot of time, and then go do something else instead of wasting all our lives uh, animating things. Well, here's how. They're called scripts, and scripts are some dope ass. Shit. You're gonna love it. Scripts will save your life and save your marriage. Um, if you're not married, it'll help you meet people you would maybe possibly think about marrying, but then it doesn't work out, and so you have to try to keep looking for people. And You spend a lot of time in the self-help section of the bookstore, because that's where you think people are just as needy as you are, and you know, you start making jokes about Dr. Phil with some girl, and that goes kind of well, but you know, you know what? I don't think... Let's move on. The script that we're going to talk about is right here. It is called the Loop Out script loop out this is loop so we're looping out we're just gonna loop the shit out of this let's take a minute and uh, discuss what exactly this uh, thing is and then we'll show you how to use it and then we'll get into some examples and then we'll all have fun and we'll all be great at using the loop out and you know then we will all reconnect with that girl from the bookstore who still hasn't given me back my watch now this will be different than usual because I'm not teaching you how to make anything specific or even useful, but uh, I am teaching you a fairly interesting concepts, so please bear with me here. Okay, so what we have here is a thing stuck in the middle of the screen. Now a little word about scripts is that you apply them to properties, and you do that by holding down Alt, clicking on the stopwatch, and then you get this line here that opens up expression uh, working on position equals what does it equal it equals l o o p capital o u t open bracket quote there's gonna be a word in here quote close uh... technically you can also put a number in as well so the loop out script you're telling it to loop out so you're gonna loop whatever we're telling it to loop out meaning from wherever we're starting the loop all the way to the out point of the layer we're telling it how is the thing in quotes so how and then this number here means something that's not really important and if you don't use it then you'll have a much more fun time that's kind of an advanced thing and I don't really care there are different methods of looping is the important thing so the first one we're gonna do is called cycle and when you finish your script hit the enter key over on the number pad it'll tell you something like this if uh, there's an error that's okay but you know what it's just because the loop out wants us to do something for it which you know is to set some keyframes so set a keyframe at the beginning go ahead a few frames I just went ahead 10 frames set another keyframe or just move the layer a little bit over here because we're operating on the position so we're changing the value and now we have a couple of keyframes here where something's happening in between them turn on our loop out uh, hitting the equals button turns it on and off and now we're saying loop these keyframes that we've created and keep keep looping them until the end of the layer happens which you know this is pretty trippy let me just slow that down we 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 so it's cycling when it gets to the end of this keyframe it's gonna go back to this one and do it again do it again do it do it so that is the that is the cycle right there let me just 
give us a label duplicate this don't worry about following along just sit back relax have a good time you know pop some popcorn and uh, you know just get ready to learn um, the next type of loop out is called the ping pong if you've never played ping pong or maybe if you're just bad at ping pong you might think well that's the same as the cycle Evan it's just gonna keep doing the same boring activity over and over again I'm gonna get frustrated and go home in this case you're going to be vindicated because ping pong is now going to be an enjoyable activity for you here's the difference and you can watch it live the ping pong goes back so in the ping pong method this is called the method we're gonna go to that keyframe and then back right continuous back and forth so that's cycle and ping pong the other methods are called the offset and the continue now what what exactly does continue mean well you just saw right there it just keeps going basically it uses these two keyframes to define how fast a thing should be going and then it continues that motion along so if we speed these up it's gonna you know zip away faster you know or slow it down either way it's gonna continue at the same speed that it was traveling at between these two uh, keyframes. After Effects is really powerful in that it understands the ideas of inertia as long as you can script them in. But that's that's a script for another time. What is what does this mean for us? You know, what exactly do you anticipate Evan me ever having to use these stupid things for? I don't need to have dots that bounce back and forth. I have other things to do with my life. Well, let's go back to the cat example. So if we look at some of what I animated here. You can pull up all of the keyframes and scripts by hitting U. Let's look at what is what is the back hind paw of uh, of the cat here. Um, there are a number of things happening to it. Um, we have many of these puppet pin tools that are animating between these keyframes here. You know, as it does this weird pawing motion at the air. Um, and then we just loop out all of them and it appears that I didn't really care about this first one so uh, we only looped out these three here but it causes it to run through the exact same motion and all of them have similar things going on um, on this one there's also a, a, a rotation this is the head it has a position and rotation that are changing very special, very interesting, um, as it, you know, cycles through the motions. But as you can see, we've used very few keyframes, and I'll admit, not a lot of time uh, putting this together, because the computer is going to do most of the work, and that's going to help you out in duplicating all kinds of things. You can even do this with footage, for example. Here I am staring off of my beautiful balcony. This is for a totally unrelated project, but uh, you know what? I'll show you something cool anyway. So let's say we want to loop this footage in some hilarious and stupid way, um, but we don't want to go into Premiere or anything. We want to do it here. We would go Layer, Time, Enable Time Remapping, giving us control of time, put in a keyframe at the start of where you want things to get interesting and then uh, find the end that's pretty good put a keyframe there delete this keyframe at the end and you will want to delete the keyframe at the beginning as well because you need only two keyframes or more but remember all the keyframes that you put in are going to be looped so if I put in three keyframes, it's going to consider the first to the last of them being the loopable keyframes. And now we'll apply our L-O-O-P, capital O-U-T, open bracket, quote, let's use the ping pong, end quote, end bracket, enter. And now we get to watch me dance. That's good. I I look stupid. Let's just speed that up a little bit I think I think we might have something here hold on yeah 
Yeah, that looks that looks good and dumb. But you get the idea that uh, using your loop out function can cause some interesting results. Well, what if we change that to cycle, right? As we did before. What is that? Diff what's the difference, right? Ping pong is going there and back. Cycle is repeating the same cycle. I think you get the difference. So that's using it on footage. You can use it on position. You can use it on rotation. You can use it on any property, pretty much. Um, not your neighbor's property. He has a really big problem when I decide to end my night of drinking passed out on his lawn. But uh, as you can tell, my neighbor's lawn is also a balcony, and he has a lot of questions about how I got there. I'm Evan Abrams. I hope that you learned something about the loop out script. I'm going to use the loop out script right now to constantly flash typing of the loop out script in front of you so that you can enjoy that. Um, if you have any questions about the script, uh, let me know. Again, I'm Evan Abrams. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Enjoy the loop out. Enjoy looping out. Get adventurous and try the loop in if you want. I mean, you know, whatever your trip is. Stay classy, and I'll see you around the internet.